my biggest success is getting over the things that have tried to destroy and take me out of this life, said American actor Tyler Perry. Simon Gituk is a former street boy who defied odds to emerge the best student in 2019 KCP exams at Morrison Primary School in Makongeni, Nairobi County. He scored 410 out of 500 marks. Born in Anyuki, Laikipia County in 2002 and raised by his parents till class 6. At 13, he left home for Nakuru due to lack of basic needs at home. A former street boy. Uh, then, I had a place to go to boy center. Then, I went under counseling. Then, after about three months of counseling, then I went back to school. I was a kid family. I was home I think, 13 years old. Ni dukwa tu mashida tu ya familia, ni kawana siyezi kaa huko, watu edewana wazazi kiasi kiasi, ni kawana sitoshelezi huko, so ni katoka home, then ni kadipot na kuru, where I stayed for two years. Where were you staying in Nakuru? I was just in the street. You were just in the streets of Nakuru? Eh, uh, then ni katoka Nakuru, ni kapata Rafiki, haka niambia tupijo huko Nairobi. I am a in Smarter Street. So, so pesa iko, iko sawa. Uh -huh. pesa iko sawa. Life uko, mamunara iko sawa. So, I am a smart person. Then, I am a smart Then, I am a smart person. Then, I am a Na city council. I am a Then, I am a smart person. For how long were you in the city of Nairobi? He found a friend who led him to the streets of Nakuru and told him he would find freedom, food and hard drugs. But life proved more difficult, so he decided to travel to Nairobi. He had heard before that Nairobi street families easily access good food from top restaurants. He had also been told that city residents easily give out handouts. Simon dropped out of school, got free as he always wanted, was arrested by city council Ascaris and taken to a rehabilitation center, was taken to Makadara Children's Home where he was cancelled, rehabilitated and taken back to school. Simon lost his father to spinal cancer last year and this is the last time he ever saw his mother. The moment I left here, actually I had went um, through counseling, trauma hidden, na vituka hizo. So by then si kwa ni kwa mtu wa drugs ni kwa njia kwa kichwa hivi. But after counseling, after trauma hidden hizo ni nizote, ni kama kwa chama mama drugs, then ni kama kwa tu mtu mnyanya anajua tu ana ko focused. Then after apu. After I was by then I was I couldn't understand anything, you know, your life, but actually I kept on being focused. I was able by then I think I was in Kazit. So I was able to get the class. I was able to get So I was able to get the idea of the class. I was to get the class. I was able to get the class. I Tuna sumera nini moja, kuna sumera kasi moja uku kwa center, then tuna saidiana. Then vision materials enye za uku, they were available, teachers were supporting, teacher wakwa, teacher washule, ukona ka problem, then they would assist you. Yeah, then nikakua, mle, nikakua mtu wa hard work, mm -hmm. respect, yeah. And then, Aku nieleze venye shule nikuwa? Subjects gani ulikuwa penda, ulikuwa na kuangana mba ngapi hizi terminal exams, like hii tami kifungwa, yeah, take me through that. Oh, then, the moment ni inge shule, uh, ni pata watu ingino wakisoma, so, si, juu si kwa nashikanisha vile, ni kwa napata nga, I think, I can just do remember, mathematics kwa napata 50, yes. ni kenda sana 50, yes. but then ni kakuwa focus, ni kaona, mwalimu kwa nambia maoni raisi, so ni kwa tu focus. Mao ndo ni kwa napenda sana. Mm. Yeah, ni kwa napenda mao mm. in social studies. Yeah. That's my favorite subject. Teachers at Morrison Primary School started showing interest to help him. He was thirsty for education. 
someone influenced other children from the home positively. Ms. Arika says that most prefects at Morrison School come from the children's home. So you were in the X1? Yeah. I was in the but club. what positions were you taking in other exams? Like Actually, after school? after class six, don't yeah. kaza get masomo. Yeah. Then ni kaza kujia position two, three ni kaza kucheza ivo. Then at the end of class seven, so ni kakuwa top. And then ni get class eight, but ni kaza kuwa top. Class seven third term. Eh, yeah, apo position one. Ni kaza kucheza two apo. Yeah. Then at the beginning of the year, this year class eight yeah. ni kaza. The first uh, open exam, yeah. but after you, you make two position one up to the end. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> what were guys saying in class, like your classmates? Those that have, have parents, eh? they have their mother, they have their father in the house, they get everything, almost everything they need. But Simon is in a children's home. Yeah. Simon comes back here, you have to wait for the time supper will be ready or lunch or breakfast. Eh? You can't go to a fridge, you have to study. When you, when you go to school, you get these people who just have everything. How was it feeling for you? Lacking, not getting everything you need. But when you go to school, you still pass, you still become top. Uh, actually, the uniforms that we wore, those in the same. Na mimi, ni corona to the same. Wa watoto wa huku, na watoto wa nikuwa ndoka mahum, ni corona to the But actually, it's like ni kuna influence cause Wengi walikuwa nasema nataka kuwa kasa imu unajua kuwa mpole, kuwa hard work. Ya yeah, so walikuwa nataka kama ni kutu daru, hata ni kutu kasa imu ni patu. Niku metulianga tu, yeah. masomo tu. Yeah. Hata upatika ni kuwa like in discipline cases, juli pigia nani, umeibia nani, yeah. una copy assignment ya nani, those were not there. Yeah. Okay. Dadia liaga, by then nienda huku walikuwa matishi, die of cancer. Ta university, not to be lawyer. You want to be a lawyer? Yeah. Actually, I met a guy here in Nairobi yeah. when he was a lawyer. Yeah. Then, after advising, I got advice Zake. Yeah, then I got to see him. I got to talk to him. What advice would you give to these kids uh, so that they can see how getting from the street to a children's home and pursuing education never changed, like I'm saying? So, I was going to talk to my father and my father. My father. Na madim, yeah. wote, yeah. kwa juma. Life ya tau, it has no advantage of it. Being there, hakuna umu imi kona. The only thing inafanya kwa tau, it's only destroying your life as in you are taking drugs, hauna anything, then you are sure of hauna future. So mini nge wambia, mse yote tu wako huko, get to a place menye kama hapa, maru nisaidika, then just change or turn our drugs, then be respectful, be diligent, and you study hard, then life is too smart. Okay. Have you gotten a placement in any high school? Okay, I've been called in French school, come hey, 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 hey. Do you know what French school, come singer, is? When I do you Yeah. Yeah. We just gave you a fun. Mm. <laughs> Man, that's a good school. Simon has been admitted to French school Kamusinga. He is, however, worried about where his secondary school fees will come from. He says his school fees is about 55,000 annually. He's appealing to well wishers to finance his education and help him realize his dream of becoming a lawyer. Tell me about your school fees. Have you been able to get someone to support your uh, second education? Actually, I have not. You have not? I was willing to I am ready for summer high school and to do my best. So, I said that I was willing to wish I was willing to be summer promising to be always hard working, to be hard working. Yeah. Actually, actually no, Hana Wezo. Hana Wezo. Uh, that's why I'm here. No, after we study hard after school, I can do give back to the community, building her house. I'm fine at all. 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 I'm fine at all
kujua wengine so man i'm so happy your story has inspired me and uh, i know it's going to inspire so many people street kids big children from the ghetto and yeah man thanks thanks so much saimo yeah. yeah. my name is david arika i manage uh, makadara children center which is a facility where we are now so makadara children center is a children's home that takes care of vulnerable children within Nairobi, specifically boys. Yes. Yeah, we have uh, three others. One is for girls, which is uh, based at Kayole. One is at Shauri Moyo, and another one is at uh, Joseph Kanyede in Kibera. So mostly we've zeroed down to taking care of the street children. Yeah, so we rescue them from the streets we normally go there, talk to them, convince them, and come over with them for rehabilitation. And uh, as you know, most of them within the streets, they've been abusing drugs. Some are begging for money within the streets, and they are a nuisance within the streets. He found a home. He found people who are very responsible. He found people who are loving, and he really fitted in well. And to him, it was like, I want to go back to school and I want to study. So he was so optimistic and really talked about education. And we never took a lot of time with him here before taking him to school. So immediately we enrolled him uh, at Morrison Primary School and he just became serious with his studies with a lot of competitions from his peers from here and from school. So that gave him the drive. But as we took him to school, there's a stigma within school. Because this is a child from a children's home. And we take our children to Morrison Primary, which is a public school. And children, most of the children there have parents. And they also know our children come from the streets. So it has never been so comfortable with some of the children from the school because they will mention to them, oh, you any chokora. And we cancel our children and tell them, no matter whichever name somebody is going to call you, concentrate on your education. That will not change anything. Don't fight back. Don't argue. And we thank God out of, out of in almost all the classes, the top 10 children within the classes are children from our center. And uh, most of the school prefects and even the school president comes from our home. So these are so responsible children and even it's, it troubles the teachers in school because they ask us, what do you do to these children? They're so responsible, yeah, which gives us a plus and we really enjoy because that's also a point where they start on leadership skills within schools. Yeah, out of the ones that we had who sat for KCP exams, we've managed to get uh, letters of admission to school. We try looking for people who can even also motivate them, give them practical experiences of what they also faced in life, talk to them and really encourage them. And this has really helped them build on their esteem, and uh, focus, career choices, and it has really been of help. And now we also pit them against the other classes. Like now those who are in class seven who are joining class eight next year, they have a big challenge because they have to break the record of Akina Simon. So they are really, they've already started embarking on their books. Some of them are scrambling uh, to pick Simon's notes, uh, <laughs> believing that those were the best notes, <laughs> and uh, the textbooks. Yes. Yeah, so we are really pushing them to start from this moment. And God willing, with the promises they are giving, we will get better results from them as well. Yeah. Thank you so much, David. We really nice. appreciate it. And continue doing what you are doing, man. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Dickens Gicho. NTV.